Hi, today we are discussing managed instance groups. Managed instance groups. A managed instance group is a collection of identical virtual machines that you can manage as a single entity. Each managed instance in MIG is created from an instance template. They are suitable for stateless workloads like website front end, stateless batch processing, high performance or high throughput compute processes such as image processing, or can be used for stateful applications like databases, legacy applications, and long running batch computations. You can run your application on multiple identical virtual machines and you can take advantage of auto scaling, auto healing, and automatic updates. We will look into all these characteristics of MIG in our few sections. Let's look into what are instance templates. So instance templates are nothing but a skeleton that can create VM instances or managed instance groups. You can use gcloud command line interface, console or API to create an instance template. Instance templates let you define the machine type, boot disk image or container image, network and other instance properties to use when creating a virtual machine instances. You can create instance templates to create instances in managed instance group or create individual instances. Use instance template anytime you want to create a VM instances based off a pre-existing configuration. If you want to create a group of identical in instances, you must use an instance template to create an MIG. Create a new instance using gcloud compute instance template create command and you can create an instance template. MIG characteristics, high availability. If a VM in the instance group crashes, stops or is deleted, the MIG automatically recreates that VM with the original instance specification, which means same name, same template, so that the VM can resume its work. You can also set up an auto healing policy that relies on an application based health check which periodically verifies that your application responds as expected on each of the MIG's instances. If the application is not responding on a VM, that VM is automatically recreated. You can spread your application load across multiple zones within the same region. This replication protects against zonal failures. Now, MIG also work with load balancing services to distribute traffic across all the instances in the group. Scalability. When your application requires additional compute resources, auto-scaled MIGs can automatically grow the number of instances in the group to meet the demand. If demand drops, auto-scaled MIGs can automatically shrink to reduce your cost. Automatic updates. You can safely deploy new versions of software to instances in your MIG using MIG automatic updater and support a flexible range of rollout scenarios such as rolling updates and canary updates that I will discuss and explain you in, the se in a, another session. You can control the speed and scope of deployment as well as the level of disruption to your service. Stateful workload support. You can deploy stateful workloads such as databases, DNS servers, legacy monolithic applications or long running batch computation with checkpoints. Zonal and regional instance groups. Zonal managed instance groups deploys instances to single zone and a regional managed instance group deploys instances to multiple zones across same region. Regional managed instance groups are generally recommended over zonal managed instance groups because they allow you to spread the application load across multiple zones instead of confining your application to a single zone. This replication protects against zonal failure and unforeseen scenarios. If that happens, your application can continue serving traffic from instances running in another zone of the same region. Load balancing. Managed instance groups can work with load balancing service to distribute network traffic to the closest instances in the group. Google Cloud offers server-side load balancing, so you can distribute incoming traffic across multiple VM instances. It scales your application, support heavy traffic, detect and automatically remove unhealthy VM instances using health checks and route traffic to the closest VM. Preemptible instances. For workload where minimal costs are more important, you can save the cost of your workload by adding preemptible VM instances. 
they last up to 24 hours and gracefully preempted. Containers. You can simplify application deployment by deploying containers to instances and managed instance groups. When you specify a container image in an instance template and then use that template to create a managed instance group, each VM is created with the container optimized OS that includes Docker and your container starts automatically on each VM in the group. Network and subnets. When you create a managed instance group, you must refer an existing instance template that defines the VPC network and subnet. For auto mode VPC networks, you can omit the subnet. This instructs Google Cloud to select the automatically created subnet in the region specified in the template. If you omit a VPC network, Google Cloud attempts to use the VPC network named default. Unmanaged instance groups. Unmanaged instance groups can contain heterogeneous instances that can add and remove from the group. Unmanaged instance groups do not offer auto-scaling, auto-healing, rolling update support, multi-zone support, or the use of instance templates and are not good fit for highly deployed applications with scalable workloads. Use unmanaged instance groups if you need to apply load balancing to group of heterogeneous instances or if you need to manage the instances by yourself. So how to create a managed instance group? In my other videos, I have given in detail in my labs how to create managed instance groups, Kubernetes engine, virtual machines. But this is a brief uh, explanation of how to create a managed instance group. First, you decide whether the instance group is going to be a single or a multi-zoned and where those locations will be. Second step, you choose the port that you're going to allow and load, and load balance across. Third, select the instance template that you want to use. Fourth, decide whether you want to auto scale and under what circumstances. And finally, consider creating a health check to determine whether instances are healthy and should receive traffic. Essentially, you are creating a virtual machine, but you are applying more rules to that instance group. Now let's work on some uh, GCP certification exam questions together. These are practice questions and they are very similar to the questions that will appear in the exam. So let's work on it. So let's look into the first question. Your company is running a stateless application on a compute engine instance. The application is used heavily during the regu regular business hours and lightly outside of business hours. Users are reporting that the application is slow during peak hours. You need to optimize the application's performance. What should you do? So here you are seeing that the application is running on a compute engine instance. You need to create an instance group for the optimization. To create the instance group, you have a couple of steps that you have to take. The first one, let's look at the first option. Create a snapshot of the existing disk, which is right. Create an instance template from the snapshot. Well, instance template is created from the image, not from the snapshot. So you ruled out the, the option A. Let's move to option B. Create a snapshot of the existing disk. Create a custom image from the snapshot, which is right. Create an auto scale manage instance group from the custom image. But you know that auto scale manage instance group is created from the template. Let's look into the C. Create an image from the existing disk, create the instance template from the custom image, which is right. Create the auto scale manage instance group from the instance template. So that looks pretty good. And D, create an instance template from the existing disk, create an instance image from the instance template, and create an auto scale manage instance group from the custom image. So you cannot do that because we know that the auto scale manage instance group is created from the template. So option C is the right answer. In the exam, when you read the question, it's important that you figure out the keywords or phrases which will help you to find out the right answer. And those keywords are somewhere in the question that will help you to find out the right answer. So in this question, I have highlighted those pointers or those keywords which will help you to figure out the right answer. So the first one is compute engine instance. So the application is running on the instance and not in an on instance group. 
So you immediately know that we need to find out how we can create the instance group instead of a compute engine instance. And then you know that the application is running during slow during peak hours, which means that there is a variation between peak hours and off-peak off -peak hours um, in the performance of the application. So you need to optimize the, op the application's performance by putting, by creating an instance group. So once you figure out that from the question, now it's easy because you know the steps uh, to create the instance group and that's where you reach out to the option C as the right answer. So here's the link which will explain you more detail on the explanation of how we can create the instance uh, group from the instance template and what are the different steps you have to take to do that. Now let's look into this question. The current dress for win system architecture has high latency to some customers because it is located in one data center. As a future evaluation and optimizing for performance in cloud, dress for win wants to distribute its systems architecture to multiple locations when Google Cloud platform. Which approach should they, should they use? So this question is very similar to the other question. It's also talking about optimization of the performance. But here we have a different uh, options. Here we already know that the instance group is created and it is created in one region with multiple zones and now they want to create into different regions. So here again we have to find out what are the key phrases and pointers that we should focus on. I have highlighted some of the key phrases which are important to find out the right answer. The first one is high latency to some customers, which means that some customers are um, far away from the uh, hosting instance group and that's why they are facing the latency issues. Optimizing for performance, again it's a performance improvement they would like to uh, in their application. Distribute the system architecture to multiple location, which means uh, they look, they're talking about multiple regions. Now option B and option C we can eliminate very fast because we know that option B says virtual machines request to the closer group of virtual machines managed by operating operations team. So that's no such thing called managing by the operations team. So you don't, don't think that this is a correct answer. And option C is talking about the failover between the zones, which is fine, but we are talking about the improvement of the performance. So they're not talking about the disaster recovery or failover. So option B and option C can be eliminated. So we are left with option A and D. So I would like to go with option D, but option A is very close to be, be correct. Option A says use regional managed instance groups and a global load balancer to increase performance because the regional managed instance group can grow instances in each region separately based on traffic. So it's in, it, in my opinion, it's incorrect because regional managed instance group cannot grow the instances in each region separately based on the traffic. It only spread application load across multiple zones. However, option D says use global load balancer with a set of virtual machines, which is instance groups, that forward the request to the closer group of virtual machines, again it's instance group, as a part of separate managed instance group. So you are creating multiple instance groups in different region and allowing load balancer to manage the load. So which seems to be right because load balancer helps in creating the network traffic closer to the instance in that group. So it's a little tricky question but uh, in my opinion, option D is the right answer. If you have uh, a different view on that, please post in the, uh, uh, in the, in the comment section and, and we'll discuss about it. It's a conceptual question. Um, to ensure that the application will handle the load, even if the entire zone fails, what should you do? 
again as, as i mentioned it's a conceptual question you should under you should know that over provision your regional managed instance group at least by 50 percent is the right answer um, i have given in detail where it's mentioned in this link you can go and check and uh, uh, you can find out the right answer so option d over provision your regional managed instance group by at least 50 percent is the right is the right answer in this question company's test suite is a custom c application that runs tests throughout each day on linux virtual machines the full test suite takes several hours to complete running on a limited number of on-premises servers reserved for testing your company wants to move the testing infrastructure to cloud to reduce the amount of time it takes to fully test a change to a system while changing the test as little as possible now once we understand the question it's easy to find out the right answer so here they're talking about moving the infrastructure from on-premise to the cloud and the most important thing that they're talking about is changing the test as little as possible which means it's a lift and shift when we do lift and shift is always be either compute engine virtual machine instances uh, instance groups and they're talking about the performance so which means we go with the managed instance groups with auto scaling which is option b option a unmanaged instance group will not work when you're talking about auto healing auto scaling all those characteristics that we have that we learn in managed instance groups will not work with unmanaged instance group so option a will be ruled out and option b seems to be the right choice but let's look into option c also it talk about data proc to run apache hadoop which means you talk about hadoop cluster they did not mention anything about the data size so it doesn't work uh, option c may not work option d app engine with stack driver but again when we do lift and shift a c++ application uh, testing environment app engine may not be the the right choice so uh, considering all the options and the question option b seems to be the right choice again i've highlighted those points which are important to understand before reaching out to the right right choice this ends our session for managed instance group hope you like it now i really want your likes your comments your suggestions and if you disagree on any point please uh, put on comment and uh, we can discuss about it uh, i hope you like the sessions and i'll be posting more sessions um, that will help you in your certification exam in your professional environment and uh, uh, till next time thanks a lot bye bye